Hello everyone, welcome to this next YouTube video. So a little bit of a different one today. Uh, we've got Luke, Donald and Cameron Smith and uh, we've just got their two putting strokes up here. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about some similarities, some differences um, and just what they both do really well to be fair. So I picked these two guys just because probably two of the best putters in the world I'd say, both in their prime. Luke Donald when he was one and one, definitely on unbelievable putter. Cameron Smith has, we know right now, on form, ridiculous at putting as well. So, uh, so yeah, I just thought these two were, were just a good two to talk about. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's jump straight into it. So firstly, we'll talk about a few differences. Um, just, just, just sort of state them now. And I think the main difference we can see here is probably the difference between their hand position and their eye line. So you can see Luke Donald's hands are a little bit further forward from his sort of thigh. Whereas Cameron Smith, sort of the gap between his thigh and his hand is definitely much smaller. So I think uh, obviously Cameron Smith just plays his hands definitely far more on, under the shoulders. And Luke Donald definitely plays them far more outside. I think what, what that does to their eye line is it just brings, because of the gap they have there, Cameron Smith standing a little bit closer to it as that gap's reduced, then his eyes are much more over the ball. Whereas Luke Donald, where he forms a bit more of a gap, between his sort of hands and his quads, his eye lines are definitely a bit more inside the ball. So again, that that can be just down to sort of eye dominance, and uh, obviously it's not one one size fits all in putting. So uh, yeah, I think definitely with the eye line, it's definitely down to some eye dominant stuff. So say say when he's got a line on the ball, Lou Donald feels more comfortable being inside the ball line. Cameron Smith feels more comfortable being over the line. So that's just definitely just down their preferences. I know Tiger Woods had his eye line a little bit inside as well. Most most players are generally somewhere in between these two guys here, either over the ball or just inside. Quite rare to see someone the other side of the ball, so over here sort of thing. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that's, that's definitely the main sort of differences between the two of them. So let's talk about some similarities of the two of them. And the one that really stands out to me, even though their eye line and probably their posture and hand positioning is a bit different. The thing that you'll see consistent with most of these guys is the, the shaft running up the back of the forearm. So if I draw that there on Donald, see it runs up the back. Draw on there on Cam Smith. See that runs up exactly up the back of the forearms. And reason for that is it just allows for sort of optimal face rotation. Say if your hands are a little, are a little bit too high and the club goes up more of the middle of the forearms or above the forearms, so say for example, if we look at Luke Donald here, if his shaft ends up going more up the forearms, then what that does is that sort of sets the shaft a little bit too far in front of you and that can promote too much rotation of the body, which can promote too much face rotation. Vice versa, if we look at Cam Smith, and let's say for example, his shaft gets too low, which it doesn't, but let's say for example, it gets too low, then what that does is that promotes sort of less rotation, so less body and then less face rotation. So that's why we just sit the hands just so the shaft runs up the back of the forearm, just because that sort of allows for sort of an, an optimal arc and an optimal face rotation as well. So I'd really recommend whenever you guys are filming your swings or sorry, filming your putting strokes and are sort of looking for, for sort of stuff to look out for, looking for any sort of tendencies, I definitely recommend one of the first things you look at is just see where the shaft is pointing and, and I'd always recommend that it points up the back of the forearms, just so then that that will promote a good amount of arc and a good amount of face rotation. The second thing I want to talk about is sort of what both of these guys do really well and obviously that's going to be sort of a good thing that all putters sort of do all sort of good putters do, sorry, is say if we look, let's focus on Cam Smith first, okay? Let's just focus on his setup position there. So this is him obviously at address, okay? Now I'm gonna move him to impact. That's him at impact. Nothing's really changed. You see his body, his legs, his head, everything's pretty still. Now you would have thought that that was his setup position, but it's not. I suppose the, the only real difference is the putter's not sitting on the ground. So then if I take it back to, to setup, there we go, exactly the same. Okay, and then if, I, if we focus on Luke Donald, this is him set up, he takes his swing, impact, right there. Pretty similar, yeah? Hasn't really moved at all. If that's his set up, let's take it back to impact. Slightly, I suppose. 
Let's get the Bangwell impact. Yeah, he hasn't really changed, okay? His shoulders and his head and his legs are all pretty in pretty much the same position, especially Cameron Smith's, okay? So what what I'm trying to get out here is I feel like, say if you're sort of a, a poor putter, generally what happens if you've got is you've got too much moving parts going on. So your, your, your head, your arms, your legs are just not really working in sync and together. And there's just too much going on, okay? And the thing that both of these guys do really well is that they keep a lot of their body very quiet and they're pretty much just rocking their shoulders. And that just allows for a very still arc, very still stroke. When there's less moving parts, the face is gonna be more or less inclined to, to move around. And when the face isn't wavering around as much, then you've got more of a, more of a chance of delivering the face square impact and not having it sort of open or shut. So the main point I'd sort of take away from this is to really focus on keeping your legs and your head very still throughout the whole stroke and for impact as well. So until you get to impact, then I'd want to see heads and legs dead still. And if we focus, if we go back to Cameron Smith again, you can see his legs and his head don't really move from sort of top of the, well, sorry, the start of his address and then to impact. Nothing's really moved in terms of where his legs and his head are and most of his body. Same again, the Fedora, if we go back to set up, focus on his head and his legs here, very still. Okay, so if we're drawing like a, let's just do that one more time, and let's just draw a circle around Cam Smith's head. Now, a lot of amateurs, there would be a lot of movement here, but you can see he stays in that circle, okay? Probably only the camera angle that's moving that, to be fair. So, so yeah, that's, that, that, that's sort of the main point really that I wanted to focus on there, just how still they stay. The next point I want to focus on is both of their forward strokes. So I'm going to take Cam Smith, let me take that out, and I'm going to take Cam Smith to pretty much when the ball goes in, and I'm going to take Luke Donald to pretty much when the ball goes in. Cool, there we go. So you can see here, key, key sort of similarity here, and another key point to take away for, for your sort of general sort of amateur golfer is how they're still in posture. Now I see it too often when when the ball's in this position, where the ball's nearly in the hole, or halfway to the hole, you've already come out of posture sort of thing. So I think it's really important to make sure that whenever you're putting, you keep and sort of maintain posture because it's so easy to come out of the putt. And if you get used to coming out of the putt, then you've got obviously got more moving parts. And sort of having these moving parts for impacting into the forward stroke can then affect the face and then you can end up having a face that's not returning square to impact just because there's too much moving on going around. So I've really get in the habit of, and this is what these guys do really well, is they stay in posture until the ball's got in the hole. They'll wait until the ball's got in or the ball's stopped and then they'll come out of their posture and they'll start walking instead of sort of following the ball or sort of coming up out of posture just right after you've hit the putt. I mean, these 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 two guys are a perfect example of, uh, of just how still you, you really should should be staying but most of the guys on the PGA Tour and on the DP Tour, Challenge Tour, even sort of your, your sort of pro circuit players on the US or national tours are going to do this really well as well. And that just keeps everything sort of still, which keeps the face still and just allows for a sort of a consistent start line. So there's a few similarities and differences there that I've just pointed out. Uh, take away pretty much everything that I've just said there and see if you can implement that into your own putting or, or see if you do some of the things that these guys do or don't do some of the things that these guys do and you need to sort of work on it. And if you want to sort of work on it and take it further, then uh, you can just click the link in my banner or go on my Instagram and you can click to go on to online coaching via Skillist uh, and yeah, just drop me a message and we can definitely start working together. Uh, if you want to see some more videos sort of analysis videos, then let me know who you want me to analyze next and I will do that. Uh, just, just, drop, just drop the sort of names of the players in the comment section below. And again, if you want to see any sort of new videos or any tips that you want, again, just drop that in the comment section below and I will definitely get back to you and I will definitely do the video as well. And um, if you can like and subscribe, that will really help me out. And uh, obviously rolling these videos out weekly, as I keep saying. So, uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you guys soon.